God is calling us to a bigger spectrum here on this earth. So I don't want to tumble it down into a spectrum of little. I want to make it macro because this is about the kingdom of God in Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord. I ask, Lord, and I submit this time as it, ha as it has already been submitted in heaven, Lord. Father, I ask that you would remove me, Lord God. And Father, that all of you, Lord, would take over this atmosphere. Father, I ask that you would change and rearrange, God, everything, Lord. Father, dismantle our plans. And Father, prevail in yours for such a time as this, in Jesus' name. As I got this word, and it's been very, very heavy. I felt like, whoa, God, you've never given me a word this long in 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 one in a one-time use. I'm gonna say that. Spe specifically, prophetically for the bride. And as I got this word, God reminded me that He gave me three words. He gave me a blueprint when I first became a Christian. He gave me three words. The first one was dunamis. I used that word for seasons. The second one was dynamite. And the third one was zoe, zoe. And he reminded me as he, as he downloaded this word that for seasons, I use these three words, dunamis, dynamite, and zoe. Dunamis, because it's the supreme power of God. Dynamite, because we gotta blow some things up that come against the word of God and against you and who you are. And zoe, because it's his, it's his life. When I first became a Christian, I didn't know what that meant. He literally gave me those three words and I had to look them up. And Zoe is the life, the life, the life that God has his life over you that he has in store for you. And it's a powerful word. And I just thank God. This is a very heavy word. But it's powerful and we need it. And see, this week, the Holy Spirit whispered this. You have the word. But a lot of times, we don't prevail in the word because we don't work the word. And my prayer today is that you will not just hear it, but you will work the word. Amen. It's powerful. Amen. Because I know in this room, because the Holy Spirit told me, that last message, the last prophetic word, not all of us worked it. Not all of us worked it. Let's just tell the truth only to empower you and to thrust you into the move of God. You heard it, but you didn't activate it, you didn't assess it, and you didn't put it to work. But a lot of us in this room, a lot of us in this room, we took the word, and we worked the word, and we saw God's word prevail and manifest and work. Forensically, I can honestly say that last month's word went to work because I put it to work. See, it takes faith. If you do not have faith for this word, then it's not going to work for you. But if you have the faith to believe, then it will go forth and perform itself and it will go work for you. In Jesus' name. 
good Lord, I'm a little shaken up because I feel the weight of it. I feel the weight of it. That good God, God is about to break some relationships and God is about to build new ones for kingdom purposes. May 31st, God Almighty had to, he gave me an assessment. I went through all my phone contacts and God's like, no more, no more, no more, no more. If you need to make room, then you those, those have to be edit, edited out of your contacts because I'm about to do something new in you. And you can't have people use you what would I have given you and not take accountability for who I called them to be? Because this portion of the bride of Christ is equipping. God is equipping his people. And I am so excited because I know if God did that for me and he's making room God is about to do it in you if you believe it and you have the faith for it. In Jesus' name. Let's get started. In Jesus' name. Do not love the world. 1 John 2, 15 through 16. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If you if anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. I'm going to say it again. This world, like Pastor just said it, this world belongs to the Lord. The word of God says that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. That this earth is God's footstool. See, this is God's domain. Although the, there is a prince of the air that is circulating and influencing, see, he can only, only be the prince of the air. He's not the king of this world. He's not the prince of this world. He is the prince of the air. He only has authority demonically, of course, over the air. But the earth, this earth is the Lord's. Amen. This earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And this passage is saying this, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. See, this world might offer certain things. But God is giving us a blueprint here. There, there will be lust of the flesh in this world, which the prince of the air, he comes and he offers it in a silver platter. What is the lust of the flesh? I remember I was watching this interview of a high rank of the church of Satan, and they were interviewing him literally, on a very public newscast. And he was opening up more churches and they were, they were coming in to offer this to the schools, which now it's their religion, they could offer it to literally elementary. And I remember watching the interview and they asked him, so what does it mean to serve your God, little G? the God of this world. He said, everything
<laughs> that your flesh desires. Those were his words. I was like, wow, you got nothing new. Seriously. Everything, what does it, what does it take to serve your God? Everything that your flesh desires. And see, that's a, that's a satanic operation. That is a satanic operation. Everything that your flesh desires. Not what God has in store for you. But what the flesh, your flesh, your wants, your desires. To pop yourself out. Out of your marriage and go have an affair. That is a fleshly desire. The lust of the flesh. The lust of your eyes. Everything that you are looking at. That God has not called you to set your eyes on. And unfortunately, I really feel like this has to do with a lot of materialism here. It could be a car, it could be a house. The eye gates of your eyes. Everything that you set your eyes to before God's standards and before God's timing. It could be the lust of the eyes, you looking upon somebody that you desire and that you think that you are gonna marry because you like the package, you like what you see, but God has not called you to. That is the lust of the eyes. Everything that you look at that God does not have in store for you, but yet you're lusting it over the eye gates of your eyes. The pride of life. Everything that you are prideful to Everything, it could be a grandchild, it could be a relationship. Everything that you take pride in, it could be your work. Everything that you take pride in. And God has not authorized. That is the pride of life. My dear beloved God, a people of God. The Father is not involved in those three areas in Jesus' name. Luke 14, 30, 33. So therefore, any of you who does not renounce all that he has, all that he has cannot be my disciple. So therefore, any of you who does not renounce all that he has cannot be my disciple. What, is, what does this mean? What does this mean? Whatever God has not called you to and you are stepping into or your feet are in it, how can God get the glory? How can you honor God? How can you fully submit? How can you fully come into the discipleship of Jesus Christ? I know that this is a heavy word. I can feel it. Well, isn't that a little too much? Isn't that you're asking yourself, well, isn't that a little too much? Basically, what the Holy Spirit is saying here. Come into, there's two sides. There's two sides. There's God, I'm going to use the right hand over here, the hand of authority. There's God's side. And there's the fallen system of this world side. There's God's. And there's the devil. The kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. Therefore, if you do not renounce and come out, come out of this side 
and come into this side where everything will prosper. Zoe, God will bring life. God will bring life. Life more abundantly on this side in Jesus' mighty name. The month of June will be the month of refusal to renounce and to reground. This is the month where you must refuse, where you must refuse and renounce to anything and everything that has held you back and reground, reground with what? Reground, reground with God. Reground with God. And when you do, you will take new ground. God's mighty hand will release new territories. People of God, we cannot stay the same. We cannot stay the same. I even see a, a move and a switch taking territory even in our jobs. It is time to prosper Amen. in the Lord and not struggle. It is time to prosper and not struggle. I really see this. You are about to enter into new territories with your family, with your children, and for the kingdom of God Almighty. Amen. The destruction of terrorism that has occurred over your life. God is sounding the, God is sounding the alarm. That's enough. You will no longer be terrorized. Or terrorist threat will, will disintegrate with God's grenades made out of his, di his dynamite. His defense is his word over you. In the name of Jesus. The destruction of terrorism that has occurred over your life. God is sounding the alarm. That's enough. You will no longer be terrorized. Terrorism threats will disintegrate with God's grenades made out of dynamite. dynamite. His defense is his word. Can you go back in the last season of your life? Have you been threatened? Have you been terrorized? In every, in any area of your life, have you been threatened? Has Satan terrorized you with his word, with his voice, with his plans in Jesus' mighty name? This month, if you take this word, if you take this word, that is going to disintegrate with God's mighty power. With God's mighty power. His dunamis coming and falling down from heaven. You will see literal grenades falling on your behalf. Well, you may be asking yourself, how can I literally see that? How can I literally see that? In the realm of the spirit. See, we are called to see physically with our physical eyesight, spiritually, and literally naturally, God performing his word. When you see God perform his word. That's why, that's where you will literally see it come to pass for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What you have feared, you will fear no more. Kingdom enemies against the building will fear you. You will enforce the sound of heaven in you never to be the same. See, last month, God gave us a sound. He gave us. I know I received it. 
Last month, God gave us a symphony to his word, a symphony to his voice, a symphony, a new sound of heaven come into our lives. Kingdom enemies, the building against the building. What is a kingdom enemy? Anything, anything that threatens you against the kingdom of God in you, in Jesus' name. See, people think that when they come against the kingdom in you, do you know that they're coming literally against a whole entire kingdom, which is the kingdom of God? Amen. See, they, people think that they come and they can threat you, that they can literally terrorize you. But do you know that they are literally coming against the kingdom of God? It is an army. And it, we are an army. And God calls us the anti-army. I want to say this because I'm led to. Do you know why you don't see power in your life? Because you're not enlisted. The kingdom is an enlistment of God's generals. The army is made out of soldiers. And the reason why you don't see power is because you have not been enlisted. But today, if you have not been, God is enlisting you in Jesus' name. You will pick up your own zeal for love. You will pick up your own zeal for your love for Jesus with clean and clear vision. See, last month, God's zeal went before us. But this month, God is giving us our own zeal to go after him. Well, you may be saying, well, this is a little complicated. Yeah, it is. Because you didn't allow his zeal last month. You did not allow his zeal to come upon you. So it sounds a little complicated. It's like a broken puzzle. Well, how can I bring it back? I'm going to tell you how you can bring it back. You're going to spend some good old time with good old Lord Jesus. And you're going to repent. Because last month, God's holy zeal went after her. And everything that pertained to you. But this month, for those that are on track, it will not be hard because you are going to pick up your own zeal and you are going to go after God like never before in the name of Jesus. With new zeal, new passion, and new reignition to your loving devotion for God. God has called us to be devoted unto him. What does that mean? To be faithful. Devotion to God means to be sold out. To be completely complying to the love. See, did you know that God gives you passion? Do you know that God gives you a zeal to go after him? Do you know that God has equipped you to win on this earth? Do you know that everything that is good comes from above? See, God is, has already equipped you. His zeal, his zeal over you first, but he's also, 
He's also given us our own zeal, our own passion, our own reignition to love him and to be devoted to him and to be sold out for him. Have you ever been around people without no zeal, without no passion, nothing, nothing excites them? Do you know why? Because there's no Zoe. There's no life. See, that is an element that God has called us to. God wants us to be excited. God wants us to be passionate. God wants us to be full of life and full of energy. Zeal is energy. Did you know that our bodies are made out of energy? Do you know that our composing body, everything that we do is made out of complete energy? How do you think we get up? How do you think we do all the things that we are called to do? That is the zeal of God in us. The energy that we are made out of is the zeal of God. And you can tell who's dead and who is alive by their lack of zeal, passion, and no ignition, no drive to go and do what God has called you to do, which is to be devoted and sold out completely to him in Jesus' mighty name. Expect to see three-dimensionally. You will come to deep understanding to the preparation and call that is on your life. What does that mean? What is three-dimensional? The physical, the spiritual, and the natural realm. The physical realm, the spiritual realm, and the supernatural realm. The things that God is just going to go and do for you. That is called the supernatural. In these three areas, you will walk in great power, physically, spiritually, and supernaturally. It has taken place in you. I am here to tell you to allow God to reignite you. Have the zeal for God. Repassion yourself. Reposition yourself to respond to heaven. I am so sorry, but you are going to have a very sorrowful life without God. I am here to tell you the truth. If you are not in God's divine will, you are going to have, apart from God, you can do nothing. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible. I feel bad when people sit in my chair and I see the terrorism, terrorizing word of this fallen systematic world that is constantly, it's been system to throw off all that God has called you to. I feel sorry for your sorrowful life, but the people of God come together and we are an army. We are a force to be reckoned with. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Because let me tell you, my dear beloved saints of God, it is a sorrowful, pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. People that don't know God, constantly, Constantly, constantly fall into a ditch called the pit of Satan. That he has every legal right because you don't have the rights of the kingdom. There is a standard to God. There is a standard to God. Your God isn't no sugar daddy. 
I'm done. I'm gonna, please forgive me. It just hit me. I am, as an ambassador of Jesus Christ, I am so done. I am so done with people wanting to use God for their own benefits, for my wah, 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 wah. What does that mean? You just want what God has for you. You just want what God has for you. But you will go after the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You just want, want, want this anti-church. It's rising up. It's rising up. And you will be able to tell from the bride to the prostitute. This is enough. God has called you to a powerful, 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 powerful life. And in that powerful life, we got no room for Satan to toil and to depress and oppress the saints of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The life of Christ is in us to go do, to go after, to go build, to take our families out of the pits and the gallows of hell in the name of Jesus. The race, the raising of the dead, the dead will rise up, the deaf will hear, the blind will see, and the mute will speak in Jesus' name. We will see three-dimensionally the physical, the spiritual, and the supernatural power of God Almighty in Jesus' name. Your heart will fall in love with the sound of heaven for you in Jesus' name. This heart of flesh. See, God gave us a heart. God gave us our own heart. And for some of us, it's been so wicked. It's been so wicked that you need a new transplant. Pepose. Pepose. That have wrapped around God's word around your fleshy heart. See, because God composed every part of our body from our brains, our entire making of our bodies are composed and made by God. And God gave you, when God composed you, when God formed you in your mother's womb, he gave you, he gave you your own heart. That's why God can't break your will. You got to chose, you got to choose his will because it's out of your heart. The only way to submit unto God is to check the ups and the downs and the bounds of your heart. How is your heart looking? Is your heart like King David? Running after God. Your heart will fall in love with the sound of heaven. You got to fall in love with God Almighty and what he has in store for you. And this month, it will take place in Jesus' name. God is going to swiftly switch things around for you to understand your walk. There are things that you do not have understanding to us of yet right now. There's a lot of things that you are wondering about regarding you. There's a little there's a lot of misconception. God, did you call me? God, where am I at? There's a lot of uncertainty. 
If you believe this word and you take this word and you work this word, God is gonna swiftly switch things around for you to understand your walk. What walk? The walk that you have been called to pave for him in Jesus' name. Expect God's removal of revoked actions to take place in your life. What does that mean? There are things that you have already removed, but they're still here. But the action hasn't taken place. It has not been removed out of your life. Only you know what that is. It's going to take place in Jesus' name. In June, expect the maker of heaven and earth to hardwire you to a permanent ignition of power to do what you were born for. I love this. I absolutely love this because I believe in this. I testify of this over my life. My life has not been perfect, but it certainly has been powerful. Good Lord. And I can say and testify that I am authorized. Not only is this word given by God, but I am authorized to say that I have been running hard, 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 hard wired to the kingdom of God for over two decades. God wants to empower you that if you allow God today, June 2nd, if you allow God today to hardwire you to his permanent ignition of the kingdom of God, and you understand and you come to terms with yourself that this is what you were born for. Watch out, watch out and see what God is going to do with you this month starting in Jesus. And there will be established relationships, honored. You will no longer see them the same, why? Because they have been help, they have been sent to help you. I will say it again, the kingdom of God is built on honor. The kingdom of God is built on honor. And a lot of times, God will send somebody into your life to help you. I want you to take an assessment of those relationships because this month, this month, you are going to honor those that God has sent into your life. See, God will send people to your life. He will bring people to help you and undergird you so you can be sent forth. It can be personal in your marriage and your work. In every aspect and every area of your life. Is putting his stamp of honor. And you will no longer see them the same because they have been sent to help you. Expect new relationships made for building purposes. Expect God to access your surrounding this month. What does that mean? Be aware to where you are at because God is going to send new relationships into your life for building purposes for building purposes for building purposes to build what God has called you to build for his kingdom for your job for your children for your ministry in every aspect in Jesus' name. 
There will be a cutting away, a removal of the world in you. Whatever has caused you to lust flesh after and cause your eyes to stumble and to blindness, pride falls will be swept away in the name of Jesus. What does that mean? That everything that you have lusted over, it could be food, it could be drugs, something that alters you, it could be drinking, let's just tell the truth. Anything that alters you, anything that causes you to lust, it could be infidelity. It could be the way that you are and carry your marriage. Cause you to lust after. Whatever your flesh has been feeding after, your eyes, whatever you have allowed your eyes to stumble into blindness, beware, caution. God is about to deal with that this month. For some of us, pride just drops us like it's hot. Can we just have the truth? Pride falls. Your pride drops you and drops you and drops you and drops you and you have not learned from it. That's why you keep on falling. Pride falls. Pride falls. Pride falls. You keep on falling back into it. Pride comes before the fall. If you fall, learn from it. The word of God says, if you fall, get back up. Get back up. Don't nurse it. Don't bandage it. <laughs> I'm just going to say it real quick. Stop going to your therapist. God can do anything. Stop going into the therapy room for months, for years, reciting the same old thing. Jesus. Pride falls will be swept away. Stop falling. Get rid of your pride. And let's move forward because God is building his kingdom in you this month. In Jesus' mighty name. There will be a deep cleaning of your soul. Whatever has stood in front of you, loving Jesus, will be removed from you. If there is anything that you have worshipped too long, and you've been hiding, but God is fully aware. God is fully aware Disclaimer, it's going to be removed from you in Jesus' name. Returning your zeal to look straight into the eyes of Jesus. See, because as longest you have something in front of you, as long as you have something in front of you, how can you see what God has in store for you. How can you have the zeal for God? How can you have the zeal for God if this is standing right in front of you in Jesus' name? God is about to remove that and you will get your zeal if you work this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Do not fight, invite. See, some of us, some of us, we prolong what God wants to do. We prolong. We fight it. 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 Can I tell you the truth? There's only one spirit. We're not talking about a wrestling. We're not talking about Jacob. We're talking about a fight against God. And I am here to tell you there is only one that fights God. And the spirit is called Jezebel. The spirit. A 
of this world in the book of Revelations, the spirit that fights against God is the spirit of Jezebel. But how many of us know that the anointing of God overthrows in Jesus' name? And if you are a child of God, and you are anointed, and you are appointed by God, and you are fighting, and fighting, and fighting, and fighting, instead of coming under, 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 and submitting to God, my beloved, you, you are in partnership with the spell of Jezebel. You have partnership. The fight, the fight against God is the fight in you, Jezebel, against the God, against the God that you are supposed to love and rendered and surrender to in the name of Jesus. Keep on fighting and she'll keep beating you up in Jesus' name. You must like the knockouts because in reality, she's beating you up. She's beating you up. How's it going for you? How's it going for you? How are we doing? God's calling, calling you to surrender and render your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, his truth and his righteousness and honor his people in Jesus' name. In return, his loving hands will replace what he has for you into his hands. See, God doesn't just take away. God only takes away to give himself away in you. Everything that he removes out of your hand he causes you to lift your hand up, your hands up, and he puts everything. See, the devil comes with a silver platter, and he says, you can have this, you can have that, you can be unfaithful, nobody knows about it, you can go dwibble, you can, do snort, you can go snort that drug, you can cheat your company, you can steal from your company, Good God Almighty. See, the devil is the one that comes with the silver platter and he says, have it all. Nobody knows about it. Have it all, indulge. But it's only to kill you. It's only to steal from you and destroy you. And that's why you have destructive behaviors. That's why you have destructive behaviors in Jesus name not for God's people see God will say Psh, drop it drop it at the altar drop it give it to me give it to me and then he goes Psh, I have this in store for you I have a better marriage I want to get your finances in order I want to bless your children. I have this in store. I've called you to this in Jesus' name. Angels of junk removal will assist you in this process this month. Expect all disorder, personal, because that's not going to be all, because this is a, a system. Things will come up. God will give you the power. Disorder, disorder, if you can see the reckless disorder in your life and you can admit it and you can come clean before the Lord, God is going to bring divine order into your home. Your roar will be heard this month. See, last month you roar for God Almighty. Your roar went forth into the heavenlies. Your roar was set off the receptors of heaven for you. But this month, this month, your roar will be heard in your family. It's going to be pretty loud. In Jesus' name. It will blast so loud that closed deaf ears will be open with the new sound 
that has taken place in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, you have a new sound operating on behalf of God in your life. And there are certain people that did not hear, did not hear the sound of heaven in your life. And you brought it up and their ears were closed. I love this. Deaf ears will be opened in Jesus' name. Dare to invite the Holy Spirit. See the windy changes of pure goodness over your life. How beautiful. How beautiful. There's going to be a freshness. Have you ever gone to the beach and just had the wind, you just close your eyes and you just have the wind hit you? That's how God is. I really see a refreshing power coming over you. I really do. Windy changes of pure goodness over you. You have been given Dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. And that speaks to the physical, spiritual, and the supernatural power of God. In Jesus' mighty name. There are two types of people. Those that are born hardwired to God. And those that will be hardwired to the kingdom. That is so powerful. Because there is hope. Perhaps you have not been serving God and you have not been enlisted in his army. See, it's so powerful to be a part of the kingdom in his army. It's so powerful because when you're not enlisted, the devil comes just after you. The good God Almighty when you are enlisted, it comes against the whole entire kingdom of God. It comes against the bride. Amen. And there is power in unity. There is power in agreement in the powerful bride that is being prepared for Jesus Christ in this hour in Jesus' name. Again, Jesus spoke to them. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John 8, 12. How do you do this? How do you walk this powerful life out? You stay in the glory clout the light of God. You don't step out over here where he is not present. You don't go where he is not involved. You don't go do. You don't go do. You don't go do what you want to do. You go do what you are set for. Amen. And we know. We know. We go to play, places and we're like, where was Jesus? A clear, clear sign is if he is not present, he is not involved, he ain't there. He's not there. So how are you going to walk this out? By staying in his will, in his light. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will walk, but will have the light of life in Jesus' name. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. God knows your desires. Everything that you need 
God is about to release in the name of Jesus. How does that get released? You seek God first. You seek the kingdom first. And this is not about, oh, well, God told me. No, examine your word. Examine your word. Examine your word. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added on to you in the name of Jesus. God is about to do something great in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Can we get up in Jesus' mighty name? In the honor of this word, in the honor of God. In Jesus' name. Father, I ask, Lord, that this word would be active right now in Jesus' name. It's already been actively activated, but active in your people, Lord. Father, faith without works is dead. Father, I release faith into this room to believe and to have faith for Lord. Father, I command a hard wiring. I want to do two altar calls. I want to do the first one for those that are enlisted. If you have been enlisted and you know that you have, that you are missing the zeal, the zeal, the hard wiring of the kingdom of God in you, please come forward in Jesus' name. All the enlisted. All the enlisted. You know you've been enlisted, but you have not allowed God's hard wiring, and you're missing the zeal, the dynamite, the power of God. Can you put that up, Mike? That first in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, Father, I thank you for your people, God Almighty. I thank you, Father God, that heaven is rejoicing over this matter in this present time in the name of Jesus. God, I ask you, Father, that a re-enlistment of your zeal and your dynamite and your power, God, your dunamis power, Lord God, Father, would hardwire parts of our hearts and our soul, Lord God. Father, that there will be no fight against your kingdom, God. That there will be no fight against your will, Lord God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, authorized and anointed and appointed, Father, Lord, I ask that there will be an ignition, God. An ignition, Lord God of your divine power, Lord God, of your dynamite, Lord God, of your dynamite, God, of your dynamite, of your dunamis, Lord, of your dunamis, God. Father, we need your dunamis, Lord. But most of all, Lord God, we need the zoe, God. We need the zoe, God. We need the Zoe, God. We need the life, God. We need your life, Lord God, because you said greater things you shall do. You've been calling us to do greater things, Lord God. You are calling our family, family lineage, God, the dynasty of heaven through the blood of Jesus to do greater things, God. Greater things, God. Greater things that no one has ever dared in our families to step into in the name 
name of Jesus, God. Lord, I release, God, the ignition of heaven, the beat of heaven, the beat of heaven to be in us, God. There is a rhythm and there is a beat to heaven. And if you today have not been in sync and you've been out of sync with the beat of heaven, with the rhythm of heaven, repent by God's loving grace. By God's loving grace, come into repentance and come into the dynamite power of God in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, fire of the love and seal of God. Come upon your people, Lord. Shift. Bring the windy changes, God. Let every idol fall. Let every idol, the beautiful goodness of the Lord will drop it. The windy changes, God, will cause you to be drug free because it's an idol. The sex addiction, shh, you think more about sex than your intimacy with God. That right there is an idol and it is the flesh. is a flesh Shh. by your love God by your love God Father we thank you that last month your zeal prepared us for today God Father we thank you that your seal your seal the seal of God the anointing of God but the zeal of God of God, but the zeal of God went after us, God. Lord, we respond right now, Father. Father, give us your zeal, God. You gave us this heart, Lord God, this God of flesh. God, I ask you to overturn it, God. And Father, we present our hands, God, onto you, God. See, when we put our hands out, we're in a posture of the worship to our living King. Father, we give you everything, the absolute everything that holds us back from you and seeing you and loving you, God. And Father, on behalf of your bride, on behalf of your bride, on behalf of your bride, we lay it down at this altar, God Almighty. We lay it down at this altar and we leave it here, God. But in return, God, give us, Lord God, the adding to God. Seek the, first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, his truth, God. Your truth, Lord. And everything will be added onto us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for the angels of deliverance, God, the junk removers, God. Father, remove what doesn't please you, the junk of life, Lord God. We release the angels of deliverance. We remove the angels that remove the junk in our lives, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we activate right now in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you for your pure goodness, Lord. For your love, God. We felt secure last month. We felt your zeal, God. But in return, let our zeal come unto you with our love, God. We present our love towards you, God. The symphony, the new sound, we love you.
you. We receive you. We expect, God, what you have in store for us, God. Not what we want, Lord, but what you have, which is far greater. No eye has seen what you have in store for us, God. So, Father, I thank you, Lord. And, Father, for those that have never been hardwired, For those that have never been hardwired, but desire to be a part of your kingdom, Lord. Repeat this after the sounding voice. Father, I commit myself to you. Father, I give you my heart in return of your beat and your heart towards me. In the name of Jesus, I will no longer fight you. I have the authority of the blood of Jesus. I renounce to the systems. I renounce to the systems of this world. And I receive my God-given rights to the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I call myself today a daughter and a son of your kingdom. I receive you, God, as my Lord, Jesus as my King, and the Holy Spirit as my Helper. And Lord, I ask you that you would hardwire me to your kingdom and I receive the transfusion and the synergy of heaven and the blood of Jesus over my life in Jesus' name. I receive your DNA to run through my veins Today, I come under, I come under, I invite you, and I receive you in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for this prophetic word, God. Father, we receive this word. Now, Father, allow us to work this word this month, God. We thank you for the windy changes of your pure goodness over our lives. We thank you, Father, that you are faithful to finish all that you start. So, Father, we honor your people that have been sent to help And we thank you, Lord, for the new relationships. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the new relationships, for kingdom purposes, and for all that you have called us to. Let your name be magnified and glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your righteousness. Thank you, Father, for this word. We love, honor, and revere who you are. In Jesus' name, amen.